uh, the blocks that will after you scroll they will pop up in in here and in this way you can attract uh, visitor attentions you can add here buttons or call to actions and increase your conversion rates this is can be used this can be useful especially if you want to increase your convention rates and uh, <clears throat> attract visitor attention with special offers that you may have or or different things we're gonna do this with the help of a plugin the plugin the plugin it's called sticky blocks this is a simpler 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 small plugin that will help you create a sticky element in in any Gutenberg block. This plugin, it's, <clears throat> it doesn't have a lot of installs, but it's, I see it is up to date. It just been updated a couple of days ago. If you, uh, if you see the plugin page in, in here. Okay, and right now let's go and uh, see how you can enable this stickiness on Gutenberg blocks and how it will look. So, we go here and we go to plugins add new and we search for sticky. Sticky block. Sticky block for Gutenberg. This is the plugin. You hit install now. You click activate. Okay. And what this is doing is just adding a sticky block in in your in your block section. So let's go and see. I have already a post that's in draft mode created for this. I will just edit this and add the sticky elements so you can see how this it's functioning. Okay, so let's say I want to add the sticky element in, in here. First, I will try with something small. Okay, let's add a block, add and search for the sticky. Let's check again. I don't see the... Let me be sure that it's active. Okay, sticky block, it's active. Let's go again. Sticky, okay, it's here. It's up here right now. Maybe it was from cache. Okay, and this will add a sticky layer to the post like this. And here you can add what block you want. For instance, let's try with a button first time I'll add a button like this I'll put uh, a name here get 40 days for free for instance you can style the button as you as you like in in here let me okay I like to be like this, okay. I'll do it like this and place it into the center to look better. So like right now if we preview this thing in the desktop mode we will have a sticky element. Okay, we will scroll down and when this will reach, it will remain in here the, like, like a sticky and uh, it will attract visitor, visitor attention. If you want in, in, in here, you have the, the other sticky options. You can just click into the sticky and if you go into the sections, you have here like space between sticky blocks on top of the screen you can add more space in here if you want you have here the 
the where to be sticking in case you want on different sizes, push element, the index. Let me move this. You have also an advanced area that you can choose from. You have here the display conditions, for instance, user state. This will be for to hide it from logged in user, to hide it from logout users. Responsiveness visibility, this block to be visible <coughs> in different uh, devices. The thing is that if you choose to hide it on desktop, it will hide everything that it's under the sticky under the sticky wrapper. You can choose also the user role, browser, what browser to, to be visible on, operating system. So it has a lot of uh, options. I will choose none. Okay. And it will be displayed by default on everything. I'll just preview this again. Let's move this again here. You see here, like I've, I've, uh, right now, there is some space between the top and the <coughs> the button. You can add, for instance, I can delete this. Let me delete this button. Okay, sticky paragraph we have here. Let's add, for instance, a call to actions just to see how this it's, it's showing. Okay, I'll, it will have this call to action here. In here, you can modify the text. For instance, my offer, and you can put what text you want with the button and so on. And right now, if you will hit preview, it will make the entire box sticky. If we scroll down, you'll see that the box is scrolling with us. So it is more visible for, for your visitors and <clears throat> make them more willing to click the, the offer or the box you have in, in here. This, the same thing, it will happen also from, for mobile. For instance, if you want to see what will happen on mobile, let's make this smaller. Okay, just a second. This is simulating the mobile view. So if you scroll, scroll it, it will stick also in the, in, on mobile like this. And it will not, uh, not create any issues for your, your visitors. Now we can add and style anything you want in this sticky box. It's, uh, it's very useful for for sites that want to wants to to at attract some attention on some 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 offers. It can increase as your affiliate commissions. If you have, for instance, you can put a coupon code here to an offer that you 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 have. For instance, if you do a product review and you have a coupon code for that product, you can you can create a nice box with, with that coupon and the, your affiliate link and you can create a sticky call to action and it will it will be more likely for the visitor to to click on this on this on this offer. This this box is not uh, creating a light it's not having a big effect on your website load. I've checked the files and they they are pretty pretty small, so uh, it, it will not add a lot a lot of uh, performance uh, decrease in in your website. That's that's all about this sticky Gutenberg block and how you can create it. Thanks for watching the video and if you like the video, please don't forget to, to subscribe and like the video. Have a nice day and see you in the next, uh, next video.